Welcome to Simulator Adventures, and have I got an amazing BeamNG mod to show you today. This is the Gavril D-Series Swivel Frame, and what it is, is a Gavril D-Series that's been adapted so the front and the rear of the chassis can rotate independently. To show you what I mean, we're going to take it on this bumpy road course and watch the car as it goes over it. Here we go. Look at that. How cool is that? This makes it really easy to go over difficult terrain because the wheels stay on the ground at all times. Apparently in the 1950s, Dodge, the American car company, created this. It didn't catch on, but um, it was an interesting concept. And you can go over these bumps at some really high speeds. Ready? And the wheels will stay on the ground pretty much at all times. Look at this. That is crazy, right? That is really, really crazy. So I'll leave a link to this mod in the description down below. But to test it out fully, we need to go to a realistic crawling course. OK, so here we are on Junior Rock Island. This has an amazing crawling course for us to explore and see um, the benefits of this swivel chassis. Now, one thing to note is that there is what is called a limiter chain down there. You see those chains? These prevent the car from over-rotating um, and damaging the bodywork or um, just rolling over, to be honest. Uh, also, they've adapt the, the mod creators adapted the fuel tanks and the pickup truck's bed um, to make it work really, really well um, with this swivel chassis. It's also got a solid axle to help um, stability. And there's also three configurations, including this short bed, a long bed, and a specific crawler variant. We'll be trying the all those out very soon. Here, so here we go. As you can see, it works really well over the rocks, but what you really need to do is turn on the front and rear differentials, which this car has, and that way, nothing can stop us. Oh yeah. I struggled to get up here in a different car uh, the other day, so let's try it, let's see what happens. The car can swivel, which means we can fit through tight gaps. Come on. Come on. Won't be stuck on. Oh. There we go, that's better. High clutch temperature, oh. There we go, can we make it round? Yes, there we go, we are literally crawling through this tiny gap. Clutch overheating, come on! Yes, we make it, we made it, yes. There we go, I struggled to get through there in some pretty serious off-road cars the other day, so that is really amazing. Remember, both mod links are in the description down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you want me to see more of these kind of like weird experimental mods, please like the video and leave a comment down below to tell me why you enjoy them so much. Oh, the clutch is overheating. I need to start again. Right. I'm going to show you now the other variant of the normal um, swivel frame, which is the long bed. It's almost exactly the same, but with a long bed, as we've come to expect with the D-Series. So let's turn this thing around. When you drive it round, it's pretty much exactly the same. Very little um, is changed with the driving experience. Whoa. It's just incredible, though, how it gets over these. Ooh, 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 ooh. Diff locks. What's happened there? I think we've hit a rock. Yes, yeah, so the issue is, is that while it can do this quite well, on these kind of terrains, it is still quite low down, which is where the full-on crawler version comes in. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is an experimental mod, and I have to say, this is what Beaming G does best. They're really weird and wacky and crazy mods. Oh, the fuel tanks being ruptured um, are just so fun, right? Uh, we're on fire. We're on fire. Oh dear. Oh dear. Now, hopefully, the brakes don't work. Ah! Handbrake. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, the... Um, crawler version will not have these issues. So here it is, the swivel crawler. Right. It's exactly the same as some of the crawler variants, but it has a swivel frame like those smaller cars, which makes this probably the ultimate in off-road crawling, right? Let's go and find out. We're going to go around the volcano on this map. Here we go. So there we go. The, you can see that the, the frame really does shake about. Oh, now that is an issue, right? That is one drawback 
of having the swivel frame. The car will tip over despite the fact the rear hasn't fully tipped over. So let's reset and go a different way. Keep to the right. What does it look like inside? Well, it's pretty cool seeing the rear of the vehicle swiveling around like that. That is so cool, right? Unfortunately, the clutch will get pretty hot. Oh my goodness. Well, luckily you can just do this. There you go. Done. You could probably do that in real life. You'd need to be pretty strong to do that. There we go. It really is a unique crawling experience having this swivel frame. And I'd love to see it in more cars. Oh no! I'd love to see just Ollie um, bringing this chassis model over to other cars. That'd be really cool, right? There we go. Can we get through? Can we get through? What the heck? We were like at 180 degrees difference there. Whoa. And you can kind of pull the car back in alignment like that. Just by accelerating. Thanks for the magic of four wheel drive. Oh yes. Oh yes. Such a fun mod. Now I have to say, whoa. Thank you to somebody on my Discord server for recommending this in the suggestions channel. If you have any other suggestions, please leave me a comment down below. I love looking at mods like this. Uh, they're really good fun. Um, and also on my Discord server, we have monthly giveaways. So if you want to get some simulation games on, uh, like Steam keys for simulation games, uh, please come over there, check it out. And you also get notified when I'm doing streams and when I release my videos. So this is the Gavril D series full frame. I'm thinking of something we can do to finish off this video. Why don't we try and go fast down this mountain and see how it is going fast. Is it going to be unstable? Not really. Whoa, it is. Yeah, it gets quite unstable towards the end. And now the back is completely wrecked. But you can still drive it. Oh my goodness. Uh, whoa, it's spinning round. That's crazy. Oh dear. Well, there you go. The Gavril D series swivel frame. It's a bit weird in a crash when you roll down a mountain. Uh oh. But from me, oh, but from me in BeamNG, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon for some more simulator adventures. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and check out these videos for more content. Also remember to join my Discord server from the link in the description.